Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you customize the author bio box in any WordPress website. So this is a free plugin and it is fully customizable. You can change the color settings. You can change the layout of the author bio box. You can also add social media icons in the author bio box. This plugin has the pro version. However, we are going to install only the free version and we will see how we can customize the author bio box. So let's see how does this work do not forget to subscribe to quick tips youtube channel watch new videos about website design e-commerce websites search engine optimization social media marketing wordpress tutorials video editing tips and many more press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos so here i'm logged into the dashboard of the wordpress website let me show you the default layout of the wordpress blog post on this website this is a dummy website created using the spectra one theme and this is the default layout of the single blog post in the spectra one theme so here we have featured image then the content of the blog post and at the bottom i have this author bio box which is by default added into this theme layout now we want to customize it so let's go to the dashboard and install a free plugin here go to plugins and click on add new and here search for wordpress author box and this is the plugin that i'm going to use simple author box so if you want to search you can simply look for simple author box and you will see this plugin this is a free version of this plugin so click on install now you will see some different plugins also author box co-authors and guest authors so we are going to use this one click on activate in the left hand side you will see appearance and under appearance you will see simple author box or you can click on here configure author box and this is the pro version so let's get out of this and this is the layout of the author buyer box now we can customize it now before that let me show you how you can add the information now in order to add the information about the author you can go here and here you'll see edit profile open edit profile and this is the basic profile on your wordpress website so here if i go down here i can edit my first name and last name so i'm going to enter all the information here and this is the nickname i'm going to delete that one and let's add the business name there now from here you can select the display name so i'm going to select this one and this is the default email address now this website is created using the insta wp platform where i can install many wordpress website for testing and learning purpose i have created a separate video on how to use the insta wp platform i'll give you the link in the description box if you want to install free wordpress website for testing and learning purposes let's go back this is the website url and this is the biography of the author so i'm going to add some content here now below that i have profile picture so i'm not going to make any changes here and uh, this is set new password logout and all the other information so these are the basic settings i'm going to save this option first update profile all right so we have added the first name last name the display name you will see it here and this is the short information about the author and now here because of this simple author box plugin we have got new option here where we can add our own image so i can upload my image here so let's click on upload image or let's upload the image and let's update it so this is how it will look now here you will see an option to add the social media links so i'm going to add let's say facebook so here you can add your facebook link next i want to add youtube link so i'll search for youtube and i'm going to add my youtube link here the channel link next i want to add let's say twitter all right so i have added three social media links if you want to add more you can simply click on add new social platform and you can enter your social media link here you will see all these options from which you can select 
So this is the information that I want to show. So let's click on update profile. Now let's go back to the simple author box. And here you will see the customization options for the author buyer box. Now here you will see image, then the title, description and the social media icons. Now if you want this to be shown automatically, then leave it as it is. If you want to show the author buyer box somewhere else using the short code, then you can enable this one and you will see the option short code. You can use this short code to show this author buyer box anywhere on the single blog post template. So you will need to enter this short code into the template where you want to show this author buyer box. So I'm going to disable it and I want it to be shown automatically. Now below that we have hide author box if author description is empty. So this is the description. If it is empty, then it will not show it. Hide the author box on archives. So you can leave it as it is. Other options are only for the pro. Next we have elements, show author email. So if you want them to show email, you can enable this one. I will prefer not to show the email. Open social icon links in a new tab. So when someone clicks on social media icon, it will go to the new tab. Hide the social icons on author box. So leave it as it is. Next appearance, under appearance, you will see the padding settings. So these four are padding settings. So if you want to add padding at the top or to the bottom, make changes from here. Then we have a border width. If you want to add border, you can add the border. Right now it shows one pixel. I'm going to change it to five pixel. You will see the border here. Now here you will see image size. We cannot make changes because this is only for pro. This is the image style. You can select square or circle and all these options are only for the pro. So I'm going to select circle and you will see it like this here. Then you have rotate effect on hover. So I'm going to enable this and you will see it here. If I move the cursor, it will rotate. Then we have show author website. When you enable it, it will show the website. You will see it here. And if you want to open it in a new tab, you can enable it. If you want to add no follow, you can enable this one. Now author website position to the right or to the left. You will see it on the right side now. Social icon types. So symbols or color. Right now it is selected to symbols. You will see it here. And you can use colored. So it will, it will look like this. So this one looks good. Next is square or circle. So I'm going to select circle and this is how it will look. If you want, you can make it square. Now rotate effect on social icon. It works only for circle. So I'm going to change it to circle. And this is how it will look. Next is use a flat a long shadow effect. So if I enable it, you will see the shadow effect. You will see that some shadow is there for each icon. Show a thin border on colored social icons. So if you want to add border, you can add it. Other options are only for pro. Next is author box tab. That is on, that is also only for the pro. Colors. This is for the colors. Now author name color. So this is the author name. Now let's see if we can find background color. This is the background color of the author box. So I'm going to make changes here. Let's make it slightly yellow. So this is how it will look. And this is the code. I'm going to copy this one. And I'm going to use that one for the social icon background. So this is how it will look. Now this is the color of the author name. So I'm going to make it dark. This is how it will look. Then author website link use blue color here you will see it then border color this is the border then we have color the text color so let's pick it dark black this one now if you add any link in this one then you can add link here I'm going to add a link. Let's update it. 
and this will be the link color so i'm going to make it blue social icon colors this is only for the symbols so let's save the settings below that we have typography so if you want to change the font size you can change from here author name let's make it 25 so it will be bigger and font website font size so this is for the font of the website description font size let's make it 19 so you will see the changes here it's getting bigger so let's make it 17 icon size let's make it 20 All right next is guest author so this is for the pro advanced settings only for the pro now let's save the settings now let's go back to the blog post so this is the blog post let's refresh it and you will see the new author bio box so we have the title then we have the website link these are the social media icons and this is the author image you will see these animations also now this is the default one we can remove this so this is the default author box which was the part of the template so i'll i'll go back to the theme settings let's go to templates single post so edit now this is the single post template for this theme and you will see this post author here so i want to remove this so i can simply go here and delete this option and click save so in the template itself i have removed the post author option this is the post author i'm going to refresh now now you will see that default post author is gone and it is using the author box that we created using the free plugin so this is how you can customize the author bio box in any wordpress website using the free plugin that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.